Have you ever wondered which of your favorite celebrities have ringing in their ears? In today's video, I will describe 15 celebrities that have tinnitus. We'll cover some famous actors and actresses, as well as musicians who experience ringing, buzzing, hissing, or other noises in their ears. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson and welcome to Treble Health. On this YouTube channel, we're focused on tinnitus and hearing. Subscribe if you're not already. Now let's get started with today's video by talking about number one, Sylvester Stallone. Coming into the top of this list, Sylvester Stallone has been featured in famous movies like Rambo and Rocky, both involving heavy hits, loud explosions, and because of that, it should not come as a surprise that he has tinnitus. In one of his films called Copland, there were numerous clips that showed him suffering from tinnitus and hearing loss, which shows us that what the actor experienced in real life also was portrayed in his film. Number two on the list is Steve Martin. The former host of Saturday Night Live, Steve Martin experienced tinnitus after a loud shooting scene when he was filming for the movie The Three Amigos. Another example of how loud noise exposures can cause ringing in the ears, when he was later asked about his tinnitus, Martin replied that you just get used to it. Number three, Ronald Reagan. In addition to tinnitus, Ronald Reagan also experienced his hearing loss. He notably wore hearing aids and was open to the media about that while in office. He likely developed his tinnitus because before he was president, he was an actor and he was around some loud noise explosions, including a gun that was shot quite close to his head. Number four on the list is Holly Berry. Unfortunately, Holly Berry was in an abusive relationship and experienced a blunt trauma by being hit in the side of her head. As a result of that, she had lost her hearing and developed tinnitus. It's known that getting hit in the side of the head, being in a car accident, or similar traumas to the head can create damages to the eardrum or even the hearing nerve and the cochlea. It's known that being hit from the side of the head can cause trauma and whether it's a car accident, a hand, or a punch to the side of the head, or other similar types of injuries, you can damage the eardrum, the cochlea, hearing organ, or possibly the hearing nerve, which can create a permanent hearing loss. That usually is accompanied by tinnitus. The tinnitus can change over time, but often the hearing stays the same. Number five, Keanu Reeves, famous actor and notable celebrity who has reported tinnitus in one ear. When later asked about his condition, he explained that it no longer bothers him, which shows and demonstrates that if you have ringing in the ear, it's not permanent and it oftentimes does get better. Number six on this list is Rush Limbaugh. Rush, being a controversial political figure, is also well known for being a celebrity who received a cochlear implant. Due to his hearing loss, Rush Limbaugh also reported having tinnitus ringing in the ear. Number seven, Barbara Streisand, famous actress and notable celebrity who has tinnitus. She has previously explained that she's had tinnitus for many years and after becoming an actress and working on many different projects, later in life she sought the help of an audiologist who helped her learn how to manage her tinnitus. That's an example of how even if someone has had tinnitus for many years, there are still management strategies and therapies that can be taken into account and performed to reduce the perception of tinnitus. Number eight is Robert Redford, the well-known celebrity, experienced a hearing loss and accompanying tinnitus during filming of All Is Lost. Number nine is William Shatner. After a loud explosion while on set at Star Trek, Shatner experienced bothersome tinnitus that lasted for a number of years. Fortunately, he was able to successfully manage his tinnitus, habituating quite well to the point that now he doesn't even think about it unless people are asking him. We made a full dedicated video about William Shatner's tinnitus journey and his contributions to the American Tinnitus Association. You can find that video right here by clicking that link. We're just over halfway done. If you've enjoyed this video so far, please give it a thumbs up below and make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more funny, energetic, and educational videos on tinnitus and hearing. Now we're going to transition into famous musicians that have tinnitus, and as we know, loud noise can cause hearing damage and cause tinnitus. Number 10 on our list, Eric Clapton. Clapton goes down as one of the best guitar players of all time, and after playing so many shows, Clapton will go down as one of the best guitar players of all time. After playing countless live shows, hooked up to loudspeakers, being on stage for many years, it's no surprise that he's experienced tinnitus. Clapton, who also has hearing loss, has expressed how important it is for those who work around loud noise and music 
to use hearing protection. As an audiologist, we echo that statement by saying that if you or someone you love is around loud noise frequently, please use quality earplugs that can save their hearing over time. Clapton still plays today and he does take an extra effort to protect his hearing by using earplugs and custom in-ear monitors for musicians. Next up on this list is Bob Dylan, an amazing musician, very well known, also has tinnitus, does not seem to bother him too much, or at least that's not shown in his public statements. Next on this list is Bono, the frontman for the band U2. When asked about his tinnitus, he described it as there's an insect in your ear, but if you scratch it, it won't disappear. Now that's almost a rhyme. Clearly Bono knows a thing or two about live shows and loud music, as U2 is one of the world's most popular and well-known bands. I know them particularly as the band every time that I turn on my iPhone, they're there and Bono, I hope your tinnitus is better. Just a few more celebrities on this list. We're still going through some famous musicians that have tinnitus. Next up is Ozzy Osbourne. Osbourne is a musician with the band Black Sabbath. They play heavy, loud metal music. And if you've ever been to a show or even listened to music in that genre, you know that is freaking loud. It's no surprise that Osborne has tinnitus and hearing issues as heavy, loud metal music has been played by him and his band for many years. When asked about his tinnitus, he describes it as a constant ringing in my ears, which has also made me somewhat deaf or conveniently deaf, as Sharon calls it. It's like this wee in my head all the time. Should have worn earplugs, I guess. Next up, Chris Martin, the lead singer songwriter for Coldplay. After many years of having tinnitus, he reached a point where he realized that he should take action. Unfortunately, he waited too long, and after some years of still playing loud music while having bothersome tinnitus, he reached a point where his tinnitus became unbearable. Martin notes, looking after your ears is unfortunately something you don't think about until there's a problem. Today, Martin still plays, and he makes sure his band has hearing protection, good earplugs that he uses. Martin has also volunteered with groups like the Action on Hearing Loss campaign and other philanthropic efforts. Number 15 is Will I Am from the band The Black Eyed Peas. When asked during an interview, Will I Am shared that he has bothersome tinnitus. Let's listen to the video and hear it for ourselves. And the side effect is tinnitus. Do I got tinnitus? Hell yeah, I got tinnitus. My ears constantly is. sleep turn up the tv gotta dry out my tinnitus <laughs> as a music producer as a musician we're not surprised someone has tinnitus but what we can't tell is how much it bothers the individual it's an invisible condition we simply don't know what's going on inside of someone's body when we look at them finally we have a bonus treat for you another famous musician who has tinnitus is pete townsend from the band the Who. We made a dedicated video about Pete Townsend and how he's experienced bothersome tinnitus, how he took time off of touring and music to give his ears a rest, but how now in recent years he's back on tour showing us that nothing can stop you when you're putting in the work and taking the right action steps to managing your tinnitus. Click this next video if you want to learn about Pete Townsend, lead singer of The Who, and I'll see you there. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson with Treble Health, signing off. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching today's video with Treble Health. Check out our next video by clicking the button on this screen or another recommended video. And if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much. See you on the next video.